about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this Ready. one. Good. Well, back in 2016, he stopped Rafael Dos Anjos to realize a dream and become the UFC lightweight champion. Eddie Alvarez, the underground king, getting back at it here tonight. Coming up on 35 professional fights and figures to have a decided experience advantage in this matchup tonight. inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Uh, watch the, the yard bar going up. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, it's up to me. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Relax. 
Looking to land the right hand, he misses. They're so evenly matched, they're going to attack. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look in the clinch there by Duplessis. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Nice straight right lands. Well, he's doing right there his opponent's compromised dc it's one thing to land a hard shot it's another thing completely to land a perfect shot and that was a perfect shot there you go there you go now the hammer fist here by the underground king big ground and pound oh great ground shot there and that one opened him up Nice positional control here. Duplessis in half guard. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Duplessis back in half guard. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. I think he's got it. It's deep. Oh, great submission defense. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, sometimes our stack guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. Now he's trying to guarantee. That guillotine is tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Alvarez. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Alvarez is in half guard. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, he's got his back now. Referee helping here. Just as the referee will. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to. He's out. What's the mission defense on display? What an end to round one. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. This guy did not miss the head with his strikes. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big left. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. Of keeping... oh! His misses are empty. Nice kick landed there by the underground king. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. 
All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Duplessis gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, oh. He's hurt now. Oh, big right hand. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. That shot blocked by Alvarez. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine choke is getting very close. He's got to lock the guard, though, if he wants to finish. Look at how intense he is to finish the sub. He gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Bye. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working. Nice job paying attention on the defensive side. Back and forth we go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio. Oh, shot there on the inside. He's hit now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, so he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. You got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one of those. But. Expect him to really set down and try to make one really oh, oh, he might get finished here. Guillotine he jump. He's got it locked in. Oh, he got, he got out. Oh, he got out. He did a great job. He attacked the lock. He got pressure forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy going for the arm here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Good arm bar attempt here. What he's got to do now is just be very aggressive to try to finish this fight. Oh. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Beautiful ground and power. And it looks like he has a cut now. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Duplessis. Let's get them out here. Lands the ground and pound strike here. His ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh. Two rounds in the books. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. All right, deep breath. Good round. That was a good round, but I need those kicks to land a little more. All right? You're not setting them up good enough. Fight. Ready. Third round underway. All 
right, so next round is underway after he came out. He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time. Oh! Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, nice. Awesome level change. Great timing. Trying to set up a choke here. That guillotine is very tight. Ooh, it is tight now. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, side control now. Alvarez is right back to the full mount here. And very effective with the ground and pound. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Most fighters with two plus he's going for the rear naked choke. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never Work, leaves anything long Work. to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Duplessis back in full mount. Under two minutes to go. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. A lot of top pressure being applied here. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Gotta watch his deck. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. He escaped that submission. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the... Oh, oh he's in trouble. Duplessis kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh. Next three rounds in the can, we're headed 
to the championship round. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he Ready does have the ability to damage Ready. it. But right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any sign. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Beautiful punch to the body. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well timed with the short uppercut and the clinch by the underground king. Whiffs on the straight right hand. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. Oh, oh, continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. So, pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Alvarez's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets Oh, man, look at that one body shot to his opponent. That showed the power. And the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. In the half guard. Full side control now. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. That was a slick transition. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Two minutes. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, right into Mount. And now he's a tip and choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. That oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, 
Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 4. For the winner, by submission, the Underground! All right, so another big win for the former UFC lightweight champion, Eddie Alvarez, here tonight. He's got every skill in the book and needed to employ most of them to get the job done here tonight. This is a man who has been in the fight game forever, but the man they call the underground king still getting it done here.